The city's top court has directed the Immigration Department to change the gender of two biologically female persons to male on their identification documents. The ruling comes after both were asked by the Immigration Department to undergo sex change surgery before issuing new documents. Janice Lowe reports. Today will be an extraordinary day for the transgender community in Hong Kong. The city's top court has approved the applications of Henry Edward Z and Q, who are biologically female, to change their gender on their identification documents to male. The immigration department has initially requested both to undergo sex change surgery to do so, but now the court has reversed the order of the immigration department. Zhe did not expect the victory, even though his legal team told him there is a high chance of winning. So now I have the uh, I have a male ID card. It would be a lot easier for me to assess gender segregated spaces. I wouldn't be questioned and humiliated by being outed by my ID. That is, you know, incongruent uh, to how to who I am. The policy stated that they have to undergo full sex reassignment surgery to remove their uterus and ovaries, as well as construct some form of a penis. If you want to remove the uterus, uh, it's a routine operation by a gynecologist. The major uh, uh, complication will be the uh, injury to the ureter at the both sides. But as I said, uh, it should not happen because uh, it should be an easy a hysterectomy, all right, compared with a normal uh, woman. He added that the construction of some form of a penis has no complications apart from wound infection and hematoma. There are many ways of doing a reconstructive surgery, but there is one simple reconstructive surgery that is, can be finished within a few hours with little complications. Handing down the judgment today, the panel of judges said the policy imposes an unacceptably harsh burden on the pair. The court pointed out that the surgery wasn't the solely workable, objective and verifiable criterion for reviewing the gender on the ID card. It added that there is only an extremely low risk for transgender persons to get pregnant during the transition. The panel of five top judges held the appeal unanimously. They ruled that the Immigration Department had violated the individual's right to privacy under the Bill of Rights by asking the applicant to undergo a surgery in order to denote the person's correct gender on the Hong Kong identity card. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.